Hey guys, welcome back to another quick video by Philippe Lair. Today I'm going to show you how to make your microphone sound better while streaming or while recording. Stay tuned! Alright, so there's two things that we're going to want to do. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your sound setting here and click on this little sound icon out here, right click on it and go to sounds. And this is really important actually that you do this. Uh, a lot of people don't think about this, but you should go into here and select your microphone, which for me is this this one right here that's already highlighted. And uh, you want to hit properties and go to properties and check it out. There's a bunch of stuff that you might want to do in here. Uh, right now I'm listening to my item on my headphones so I could hear uh, what's uh, going to happen when I change the levels. Uh, see, I boosted up the volume a little bit on my microphone because it was a little bit low, so I boosted up by 10 dB. And I also enabled the, the enhance, enhancements in here, and I find that they really help with my microphone anyways. Uh, I'm not sure if they'll work for you, but for me, it did a huge difference by enabling these two here. And also, you're going to want to go to advanced mode and make sure that the default format is not still on DVD, which is the default way it usually is. It sits on DVD, and you want to make sure that you change that to at least 96,000 hertz here, the studio quality. And then uh, when you're done, you hit apply, and I already, I already did that, and uh, it makes a huge difference, actually. Let's, uh, let's uncheck here the noise suppression and the echo cancellation. And uh, see what happens here. Uh, hopefully this sounds very different in the microphone right now. And I will tick it back on. Both have been reapplied and they should sound different again. And you can tell the difference right there. Eh? Alright, so we're going to move on. And the next thing that you're going to want to do, the second thing that you're going to want to do, you're going to want to download a program called Voice Meter. And there it is right here. And voice meter, you are going to download voice meter for Windows right here. And uh, you can just download DXC right away. You don't need to download the zip package. Just download the DXC and then once it's downloaded, you go ahead and click on it to install it. And I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install it, but installation is very simple and straightforward. So I'm going to go ahead and launch voice meter now. So now that voice meter has started, uh, it uh, looks a little, yours won't look exactly like this because mine, uh, I had to get the settings already in here so I could record. So right here, you're going to want to choose your input. So my input is this microphone right here. So you're going to want to take that one. And you're going to want to choose under A1, you're going to want to choose your output, which is going to be either your headphones or your speakers that you're going to li be listening this to. So you click that. <coughs> and you're going to want to make sure that when you're recording in your studio or whatever you're using, your, your, and I'm using Camtasia right now, that uh, your audio is set to the input. Uh, it's not your microphone anymore. Your input is going to be this voice meter uh, application. So that's what you're going to make sure that you select if you want voice meter to uh, correct your voice. So what I'm going to show you is what Audibility does. Uh, that makes <coughs> your uh, background noise go go down. So this is the speed that it's going to shut off. So when I put it at 4 seconds uh, or 0.4, or 4.0 actually, it's going to cut down the background noise pretty quick, so I'm going to stop talking here. And then uh, it comes back on when I start talking again. Um, and then if I put it to uh, 0.3, it actually is going to cut off the, the, the background noise very slow. And now it's back. If I t start talking again, it just comes right back on. Uh, and then the other thing that you're going to want to do, what we're looking for, uh, is to add a little bit of bass to our voice. So you're going to want to play with this button here. And if you move it around, you'll see that our voice starts sounding different. So I'm going to move it around right now, and it should sound different in our recording. Uh, so hello, one, two, three. How does that sound? There's a bunch of echo up there. And down here, there's no echo and deep bass. And I like to keep it with no echo, but a little bit more bass. And that's why I like to keep it right here. And the other thing that I'd like to suggest to do is to turn on the mono mode right here. Uh, I find that your voice sounds a little bit better with mono mode, void, mono mode activated. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Now your, sound, your voice will sound great when you're streaming uh, directly. Uh, so it'll automatically change the sound of your voice. Uh, you don't have to do any kind of post editing. Uh, so yeah, this is the way to go. I hope that I was able to s save you a little bit of time here and uh, answer your questions. But enjoy your day.